It's time for another learn mode development sprint. This time I'm gonna look at something that a lot of people struggled with. In fact, it's so bad that people think there are bugs. Another bug in Chinese and another bug. A lot of times what happens is, this one again, is that the game doesn't give you a check mark that you have correctly copied it. But what turns out is that some of these colors are so similar <laughs> to one another that it's actually very hard to figure out which one to use and so I need to add helpers. I have already created all of the tasks for this sprint so we can just jump in and you'll see in a week how far we've come and what all of these features look like. All right, here we are in Retronator Headquarters Art Studio. Thanks, macOS. We got some nice progress, so let's get into it. Now, this has happened to many people before. You know, you've been drawing your little sprite and you did not get a check mark. Well, what is wrong? Well, a lot of times we tell people, hey, why don't you zoom in and carefully check if there's, you know, some of the colors are quite close. Check if some of them are mismatching. And you can see here barely that there is a mismatch. In other cases, this is even harder to figure out. But now with the color help, you don't have to scrutinize the whole image. It could be much bigger. You can just go here on the help button. Now, this user interface I'm still working on, so this will get improved, but you have a bunch of options. One, if, if you just wanna get this one-time help, I just wanna know what's wrong, you click here, and then it'll go across the whole screen and it'll show you, see it highlighted which pixels are wrong. So you know that it's this one here, these two here uh, are mismatching the color, and this one here is actually missing. I forgot to paint that one in and uh, yeah let's say that I think oh okay I guess it's this one then oh no it's not okay so which one is it it's this one here and then here I'm again like oh which one is it if you're not sure if these are colors that are hard for you to match we do have a new option so you can always choose the hint style instead of just being dots we can choose it to be symbols and then it's using the kind of symbols that are used in cross stitch patterns each one of these symbols gets their own color so yeah now it's you can't really mix this two together you see that hey this is the one that's the right color put it in there correct here which one of these shades am i supposed to do well we can easily see that it's this one and bam and that's how we have successfully completed our sprite here's another one that's been giving a lot of problems to people if you want to as you're painting this if you want to be immediately notified that you might have done an error here you can barely see it and a lot of people miss this one if you just want to be not you don't even want to be using this one-time help all the time you just want to be warned as you go along you can turn this on so now all of the pixels that have had a mismatch have been highlighted not the ones that are missing for those ones you actually have to click this and then it also shows the missing ones but this one here will just always as soon as you pick the wrong color it will highlight it this one just tells you where the error is and then you might want to check but if you want to be much more certain you can turn on hint outline so that it's much easier to see the kind of shape you want or you can do this hint glow and so as i'm drawing and i'm going along well i see here okay i definitely chose the wrong one and i need to choose this one with the heart and hopefully this system will be able to help everyone no matter if you have trouble seeing the differences of colors or in this sprites where it's very tricky where two of the colors are very much the same right now i just have to improve the design of this paper and if there's some time left there might be the final one but it might be a little bit of a busy week so not sure how far we'll get but i'll see you in another week the design is now in place so let's take a look we're gonna test everything out on the color swatches tutorial i've also added so that the first time you make a mistake let's say that you know we got this part right but then as we're choosing which blue color to use sometimes people will choose this one and now see as you start if you make whenever you make this mistake for the first time it'll you'll get a little pop-up uh, instruction you have chosen an incorrect color if you need to help determining colors press the help button on the palette to explore different systems and we're using this new system we created last time so 
that you have the um, you can have things pointing and things and then if you press help there we go and here we can see what our options are this is the same as we've shown already but it has this nice little design the color assistance request form now we have multiple options of course we can just click this for once and then it goes away and it highlights all of the things that are wrong but then otherwise like we've shown last time we can choose between symbols and then we can also hey, choose how do you want to highlight that hey you've done something wrong okay so now i see okay so this is wrong so this is correct if you have chosen things to be symbols then probably you will want to choose hint outline makes things even easier to see or hint glow and then you can figure it out i made it so that you can move this around as you're trying to figure out what kind of things you want to do so yeah you, if you want to close down the you can just press help again or there's this x up here so yeah i hope you will enjoy this and next up we will go back to some new learning content probably on the pinball side of things we'll see I'll see you in the next one and in the steam discussions on my discord see you everywhere bye bye